Hi there, welcome back to the Nourishing Roots channel where I'll be showing you again how to love food, adore your body and become your authentic self. In this week's episode I'm going to be talking about the phenomenon of empty calories and should we really be referring to things as having empty calories in them. I'm going to be sharing with you some of my experiences of battling the idea of empty calories to instead show you how really there is no such thing as empty calories because our aim with food is to nourish our body and soul and not just fuel our body with pure nutrition. So without further ado, let's dive in deep with this intriguing topic. For those of you out there who've ever had a disordered relationship with food or have been really entrenched with a clean eating or healthy eating movement, then I'm guessing that you've come across the term empty calories. And a simple definition of empty calories according to nutritional terms or the health guru terms is food that contains nothing in it that's good for you. It's a collection of chemicals that don't do you any nutritional benefit in terms of vitamins, minerals or sustaining your bodily functions. Now I want to turn the myth of empty calories on its head really because for me and the Nourishing Roots philosophy in general Food is so much more than about fuel and this means that when we view food as having just nutrition in it such as calories and vitamins and minerals then we see it as far from the truth which food actually is because food to me is actually more about nourishing our mind, our bodies and our soul and in simple terms that means that food has a much more multi-dimensional role in our lives. So let me give you a little bit of a personal example. For a long time, I viewed food as simply fuel. In other words, I need to eat an exact amount of calories to get by, I need to eat foods that are clean, healthy, enriched with vitamins and minerals. But I also had a really negative view of food, and I wouldn't allow myself anything that was classified as unhealthy, or that was toxic, or had empty calories in it. In other words, things that society said weren't good for my health. But on my own adventure through Nourishing Roots, I realised that food goes so much more beyond that. And by that I mean that when you go out for coffee and cake with friends, or that you go along the beach and eat a lovely ice cream, or simply when you go out for a meal with friends and you just enjoy a lovely indulgent pizza, that those experiences nourish your soul and not just you in terms of nutrition. So when you eat, you're actually contributing to powerful human experiences and connecting with other people. This means that when you eat certain foods, you're not just focused on nourishing your body and the nutrition it needs, but you're also nourishing your soul's need to feel new memories, experiences, and finding positive connections with other people. So for a long time, I was completely cutting myself off from that side of eating and nourishing my food in a soul way rather than just a nutrition way. So as an example, I would completely try to ignore the fact of going out to eat with friends because I didn't want to face eating so many foods that were classified as being empty in calories. For a long time, I couldn't see the fact that my soul actually longed to connect with food on a much deeper, deeper level. Because now, food is all about love. And, you know, beyond love in terms of nourishing my body with the best and cleanest of ingredients, if you want to call it that. But now I honour the fact that sometimes my body craves a little bit of cake every now and then, chocolate every day, and the things that I enjoy. Because food is so much about emotions and soul connection that is nutrition, as I've talked about lots and lots before in other videos, and the Nourishing Roots philosophy. And now, I kind of want to help others like yourself to see that whole deeper meaning of food and to help you break free from the obsessions around viewing food as calories, nutrition, or by any means of avoiding empty calories. Because no food is ever fully empty. If you think about it, it's filled with opportunity. Opportunity to love yourself more, make connections with other people, and enjoy life to the full. And that gets me to another point actually, which is about getting away from fatty diets, getting away from those fatty messages that tell you to go down a path of actually developing a negative relationship with food. Because for me, developing a positive relationship with food was about seeing food as abundance and again, 
appreciating that whole other level that food has to fill us up with nourishment in a way that we may not have ever wanted to kind of experience before. And I'd also like to say for people like you struggling with disordered eating or having an unhealthy relationship with food in your body, that food is more than just nutrition. We want to help you to develop this whole other dimensional relationship with food that gets you away from calorie counting and gets you away from viewing food as just empty calories. Because deep within inside you, there's a whole person just waiting to get out. And if that means going down the beach and eating your favorite ice cream without guilt and shame and viewing food just as pure nutrition, then I'm more than happy to help you with that. I'd absolutely love to hear about your views on this topic because it's something that I really struggled with for such a long time, but I'm now really, really grateful to say that I'm on the other side of viewing food as purely just nutrition. In fact, it's made me more liberated as a person. I'm free to go down the path of what I want to in life rather than feeling ruled by food. So on that final note, if you liked this video, please subscribe to this channel or comment below on any of your experiences with the idea of empty calories because I'm sure as hell grateful to hear about them. On another note, if you'd like to hear more from this channel, simply comment about any future suggestions for future videos and hopefully I'll be able to create one of those for you very soon in the near future. So on that final note of love, I'd like to wish you a great week and hopefully we can speak more about interesting topics like these very soon. Goodbye.